I thought I'd do a UK unboxing of one of these uh, lower end sonars. It's the Hook Reveal 7 triple shot. That's how it comes. A little thank you card from Lawrence, which is good of them, I think. Just say thank you. It's actually quite a big uni. It's like decent size. A little memory card slot on the side there. Plugs in the back for two. There's other little bits missing here, screw holes. So maybe you can flush mount it then, I'm guessing. We'll have a look at the rest of it. I struggled to say this, but here's the transducer. This is the triple shot version. It's actually quite quite a bit bigger than I thought it thought it would be. Yeah, just under 10 inches, around 10 inches long. And it's got six meters of cable. Loads of paperwork. We'll go through this in a sec just to see what it tells you about it. Some screws. I'm not sure if these are stainless steel or not. I'm guessing they will be, but I might use my own screws just to be safe. Oh, there's the little covers for the screw holes. A metal bracket for the transducer at the back. That's nice to see. A lot of them are plastic, but yeah. You've got the metal bracket. Little spacer, there's a few bits in there. For the mounting bracket. And there's the mounting bracket. It's actually quite tough. I'm putting some good force on there. Power wire. I don't know how long that is, but that's not six meters. Comes with an inline fuse holder. Limited warranty book. Maybe it needs registering or something. Maybe you'll get extended warranty, I don't know. We'll have a look at all this though. And you get a few stickers then. Advertise the product. I'm going to chuck all this back in the box and we look at the paperwork. You got a quick guide, which is not actually in English. Ignore the quick guide. Ah, here's the quick guide in English. We get our own little section. I'm not going to show you all of that. There is a few decent videos on YouTube of the using it basically, like a, a tutorials and stuff on how to use it. Installation guide for the transducer. Oh, there's some interesting stuff there, look. This is what I struggled finding online, the max depth. It says here, uh, traditional chirp is 152 meters, which is 500 feet. The down scan is 91 meters, which is 300 feet. Uh, the side scan, 183 meters, so it'll do 600 feet side to side. Then you got all the different hertz then. So, max speed you can do, and it'll still read is 57 knots, 55 mile an hour, which is quite fast. You got operating temperatures and stuff then. The output is side scan imaging, down scan imaging, and temperature. Um, let's look at how you install it. There's the ins installation side. I don't know how well you can see that. Quick read. Well, all the crosses. Basically, is down, down, install it there, obviously. Um, D. This is saying install it to the right hand side of the propeller if it goes clockwise. Which is mad because I've seen quite a few of these sort of transducers on the left hand side, on this side. But yeah, I'll do a video of installing all of this. I've never done it before. So, you'll be like me. It'll be my first time. Gives you torque specifications. To fit that to the bracket. Yeah. Well, that's a mounting template if you want to flush mount it. That's good. Obviously, you cut it out and use this as your template. Yeah, that's a good idea. That was brilliant there. I won't be flush mounting it, but if you are, 
you have a template there to do it. And then an installation guide. Yeah, basically it just shows you how to install it all. And then on about the fuses and all that sort of stuff. <coughs> I'll have a better look at the unit itself. And obviously this is in the UK. I actually brought this from Force 4 Chandlery. How easy is this to open? I usually struggle to open these. Yeah, it's got the one micro SD card slot. Hope you can see that. Yeah, I'm guessing that must be a fuse inside there. Maybe. Right there. Yeah, it just it looks all right. It don't feel tatty or creaky or anything. It feels quite it feels quite tough. I don't know that's a good thing to do with banging it. <laughs> All the buttons feel good. Ah, to ensure the best performance from this display, register online out there, or use the mobile phone to scan the QR code. So you can register it online, but I don't know if it gives you extended warranty or no. Also, what I've done. I've ordered some screen protectors for this off eBay. I'll put a link in the description for that when they turn up and if they fit okay, I'll add it in there. But yeah, that's the uni. Well, that's it then, I'll end the video here. I'll get this installed. Not this bit. I'll get all the wiring side of it all installed and I'll basically show you how it all works and what's what. I'll follow the guide as well. And basically, yeah, you'll see how it's installed and then the when all this lockdown is finished and I can actually get out there, you'll see it used for the first time as well. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.